Hey, thanks for joining me. I'm Wayne. In the earlier video, I told you about how we buy and sell a lot of stuff on eBay. Check my eBay store. It's, there's a link in the description below. Well, this is one of the items we bought off of eBay. And uh, kind of like a Christmas present. You got a present, but you don't know what it is. So we're going to open it up, see what we got here. Ah, it says Nook Charger. Okay. We had a Nook Color up here earlier in one of the other videos. This one is the Nook HD. All right. No case, no original box, but it came with a case. See? It opens up right there. We'll get into this and show you how it works. Okay. Okay, here is your Nook HD. Comes in a nice little case there. Here's your charger pack. So what we got here comes with a charger that falls out. Here's your cable. This plugs into the charger with like a USB port right here. You can plug it in and charge it. It takes three to four hours to charge for full charge. If you're going to hook it up to your PC, you're going to need to hook this up to your USB port. So your charger goes in right here at the bottom. Right there. Right there. See how it fits right in there? Now you can charge it. I'm going to take that out for now. Here it is. Okay, we're ready to turn it on here. Little button right here. Hold it down for like three or four seconds till it starts. See there, it's starting up. Give it a few seconds. If you haven't already registered it, You'll need to register it to set it up. It'll make you go through that. I've already done it on this one, so I'll show you how to do that too. If for some reason you try to register it and it won't register, you'll need to update your software. Okay, open your PC to barnesandnoble.com right there. After it loads, see that help button right there? Click on help. It'll load another page. Come down here, most popular articles. The second one is if your Nook won't register, click that. Now scroll down to see all the Nooks available. Right there. Click the one you're going to use. Now we're going to do the HD. Click on it. It will download it. Takes it a little while, probably maybe 15 minutes or so to download it. Now I'm using Google Chrome, so it shows it down here in the corner. Click that little arrow right there and say open it right there. Show your file. There's your file. You want to right click on that file and say send to your Nook. Now, I've already updated this one, so I'm not going to do it again. But once you click on Nook, my Nook, you just don't touch your Nook anymore for a while. Don't turn it off. Let it run. Because it will update itself. So just leave it alone. It'll turn off and turn back on. When it turns back on, it's ready to go. I have two accounts on Barnes & Noble. One for me and one in my wife's name. She has a reader also. So you can see here it says... Susan or Wayne? Well, I'm going to go to Wayne. Just pull it up there to the little lock. There it is. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Be sure your Nook is hooked up to your USB port. Okay, come over here and say, My Nook. Open that. Go to Books. Oh, 
open that little file folder up that says books right there go over here and find a book you want to read drag it over let it copy it in there it is and it's on your nook now showed you how to load a book from your PC to your Nook HD and now we'll show you how to go find it and read it. Right here along the top see all these books right here? Those are books that are on there. If you don't have a whole lot of books you can go find the one you're wanting to read right here. Okay? If you have lots of books I would suggest you push this come down here where it says library right here on the bottom library and it'll come up and show you books they'll be listed all through here see right there's the book that we loaded off of the PC you can click right there and it'll open the book to read it there it is pirate hunter alright now if you want to go forward a page touch on the right side and it'll go forward one or you can grab it and just slide it over either way if you need to back up a page click the other side over here and it'll back up or touch it and slide it over see how it does that so we're going to go find a few pages in here see the font there is a right there you can change to any page you want to. Just slide that slider back and forth and go find the page. Or you can search for something in there. If you want to change the font size, see down here at the bottom where the little A's are? Click on that A. comes up right here. See the different sizes of font? See our font right here? Watch what happens when I hit this one. Got real big, didn't it? I like to go right along in here somewhere. That's where I like to read at, so... Okay, you got that. Hit your nook right here. Now, if you open the book up and you, you've got a book that's been opened already and you've been reading, right here, click on this. It'll take you right back over there. There's the book you were reading. There you are. See how easy that is? Okay, we showed you how to use your Nook HD nice little setup it's a nice reader I've been using my color for many years we did a video on how to use the Nook color in a previous video it's up here if you want to see that too so they're a lot of fun you can get it pretty cheap on eBay right now so get you one enjoy them you can download a lot of books and leave us a comment let us know what you think okay see you next time Thank you.